it's like chicken chow mein. I know it sounds so dumb, right? It's funny. Like it is funny because even I find it funny because it's like, what are you trying to imply? Are you telling me you're hungry or are you think you're going to get a reaction from me? Because I'm supposed to be angry with the fact you said chicken chow mein. But if you think about it, you actually look so dumb. So yes, I'm Chinese and I'm proud to be Chinese. So a lot of people ask me, Celia, how did you become so confident? I brought from um, fitness and dancing that those help me. I also say there's a lot of inner work and also being my true authentic self, embracing who I am, um, accepting who I am, especially my identity. Because let me tell you something, when you try to hide something, when you don't embrace who you are, you're basically, you have some sort of insecurity, right? But when you start to embrace it, you, people can't use whatever you're hiding against you. People are take, like, when you hide, when you try to hide something about you, yeah, people can use that against you and that's taking your power away. So by claiming that power back, obviously you're going to naturally going to get the confidence back. So by cl claiming that power back is to embrace who you are and be honest with yourself, be true to yourself. So let me give you an example. I'll tell you a little story about myself. So I'm Chinese, I was born in Sweden and I came to the UK when I was seven. I grew up in an area in the UK where it's mainly like white people, a lot of Italians. Um, so being an ethnic minority, growing up I experienced a lot of discrimination and racist comments um, towards me. So like things like ching chong and you know, the dumbest thing I ever got like said to my face is like chicken chow mein. I know it sounds so dumb, right? It's funny. Like, it is funny because even I find it funny because it's like, what are you trying to imply? Are you telling me you're hungry or are you think you're going to get a reaction from me because I'm supposed to be angry with the fact you said chicken chow mein? But if you think about it, you actually look so dumb. Anyway, but kids, you know what I'm saying? But that's in secondary school. Anyway, and I used to hang around these white girls in school who were supposed to be my friends. Yeah. Anyway, as you grow, you know who your, who your true friends are. Anyway, they used to say things... I make comments that made me feel ashamed to be Chinese, I'm embarrassed to be Chinese. So to got to a point that I struggled so much with my identity that I was suppressing, like I was hiding that, that part of me, that Chinese part of me. When I said the Chinese part, like people say that I'm westernized, like, um, so yeah. So I was like, try not, I would, I wouldn't, I would pretend that I'm not fluent in Chinese I'm actually fluent in Chinese I'll pretend that I can't speak it so if my parents called me and I was with them I would answer it but I wouldn't really speak Chinese I'll be like mm, mm, yeah okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm, like, that, like pretending that I don't, I'm not very good at it when in reality is actually a flex the fact that you can speak another language and the fact you're bilingual or trilingual whatever it is you know what I mean so yeah so so that's that so anyway do you know what I mean so like I was just like hiding that and then the fact that I, I'm Swedish, as in my nationality is Swedish, I was like, phew, that's like make me less Chinese. Do you know what I mean? So like being ashamed of that background. Anyway, fast forward now. What my, my point trying to the point I'm trying to make is ever since I've started embracing that part of me, that Chinese part of me, um, I would say probably I would say uni. Starting uni, I start to embrace it more. Like saying, Yeah, I'm proud to be Chinese. I embraced it even more, even actually two years ago, like even more, like got into more into my culture, appreciating the architecture, like things like the history and all of that, um, which is also when I started my self-love journey, being true to, true to myself, I felt more, more, yeah, like I said, more confident and more powerful. So another thing I want to say is just don't hide your identity. You are who you are. We chose our soul our past in the past life we believe in past life we chose to be in this life do you know what i mean yeah so embrace who you are and no one can take that power away from you you be confident as fuck af you be confident af